I'm Michaela, and my family and I live right here in Bay City, Michigan. We really enjoy living here in Bay City. Everyone pretty much knows everybody because it is a pretty small town. This is my family. Austin is my twin brother. Austin and I have osteogenesis imperfecta. It's also called brittle bones. My mom has it too, but my dad doesn't. He has cerebral palsy. I am 15 years old and I don't know, I'm just like a really outgoing person, I guess. I love to like be around people and socialize and I'm a total like girly girl. This is my mom, Melissa, and she enjoys arts and crafts. She has her own little craft room where she spends her time making new quilts. My mom is a very crafty person, and so she taught my sister and I all kinds of different crafts. Growing up, I didn't play sports, and I didn't have a lot of outside activities. So I was, my mom and dad were pretty challenged trying to find things to keep me busy. I think when you quilt and you craft, you're never bored. There's always something to do. My mom was born and raised in Bay City, too. I have five brothers. One is deceased and a sister, all older than me. And none of my siblings have my disability, nor my parents. And uh, they didn't baby me in any way. They made me pull the weight just like any other member of our family. And I think it's that philosophy that helped me to overcome a lot of obstacles in my life. Doctors told my mom and dad that I would never be able to sit up by myself or basically have any kind of a valuable life. And my dad is a forward, was a forward thinking kind of guy. And um, he said, as long as I had a brain, I could overcome any physical challenge that came before me. My dad works at Walmart. He loves golf. When he's not watching it, he's out in the front yard playing it. All right, Dad, now I'm going to interview you. Okay. Yeah, no need to be afraid, it's just me. Okay, can I ask me some tough questions? Yep. Okay, I'm ready for you. The world's going to get to know you better. You need help setting up? I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, this thing's really heavy, but that's all right. Oh, you got it. Okay. You know, some people just really like to know things about other people. So today we're gonna be telling these wonderful people about you. Okay. So dad, did you ever, you know, have the thought of having kids or if you didn't, how come? Well, when I met Missy, your mom, I truly fell in love with her, but I looked at the size of your mom <laughs> and I thought there's just no way. And lo and behold, there was a way. Mom and Dad got married 22 years ago. My dad was only 21. So tell us, what is it like having a family like ours? A family like ours is totally awesome. I never thought my wife and I would have children, but you two have had a true blessing. Uh, but what you guys do and accomplish each day is truly inspirational to me. And you guys just give it your all. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm proud to be your dad. Uh, that's sweet. <laughs> this is what Austin really likes to do in his spare time. He absolutely loves gaming and video games, and he especially loves flight simulators. When he was seven years old, he asked our parents if he could buy a flight simulator. And my mom's like, no, it's like way too difficult. I don't know how to use it. And you know, there's no way I can teach you. And he's like, mom, I got this. Like, I know how to do this. And so she finally gave in to like, let him buy the flight simulator. And within a few days, he started using it all on his own. He sure knows everything about it. And if you ever can't find him, He's right there in his natural habitat. This is our house. We have lived here about 13 or 14 years. 
Right now we are in our living room. This is our main hangout. This is where we are most of the time. Um, when people come over, this is where we hang out. We have a nice couch here and this is just one of our main hangouts of our house. We are now start rolling in to the kitchen. On the left side over here, we have my dad's kitchen where he is able to do the dishes and cook and do all the kitchen necessities. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi. What's up? Oh, just cooking dinner. Oh, what's for dinner? Uh, spaghetti. Yum. Uh, getting hungry? I am, actually. <laughs> and right. this is my mom's portion of the kitchen. And everything is down at her level where she can cook. And Austin and I also enjoy, like, baking. And so it's really convenient for us, too, because everything's. I actually feel very tall in my kitchen. <laughs> um, it works really well for me. Coming over here, this is our other living area. It's a little bit more spacious, and uh, they like to call it the man cave. This is where the men hang out and, you know, watch sports and do everything that men do, because I don't watch sports. Oh, hey, Austin. What's up? Yeah. This is my bedroom. I really like gaming, and right here, this is my snare drum. Uh, I love band, and been in my high school's marching band. I've been in band since sixth grade, and I got to play at some of my high school football games. I also got picked in my class to go to all-star band where they picked some of the top musicians, I guess, in schools, and you got to go and all come together as a band and uh, be able to play, and I got a few awards from that, which was a lot of fun. My bedroom. I actually spend a lot of time in here because I enjoy making my YouTube videos in here. On the left side, this is where I do my homework, and on the right side, this is where I do my makeup and everything. And I actually have a TV, but I don't use it because I don't like watching TV. And I know that's kind of like stereotypical of a teenager, but I would much rather film videos. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I make a lot of videos. I've even got my own YouTube channel with 2,458 subscribers. Most of my videos are about the latest makeup and fashion. I started making videos one day when I was just watching someone else's videos that do kind of the same thing that I do and I'm like, wow, I really like that. And you know, like, why can't I start my own channel? So let's go ahead and get started. So we have the Be A Bombshell Mascara. It's just your typical mascara, which happens to be one of my favorite makeup items. Another thing I do is make videos about my family. And welcome back to Michaela's Moments. And as you can see, next to me I have a special guest. And this is Austin Show 123, or also known as my bro, my twin. <laughs> oh yeah. We're just outside and I'm gonna make a funny bed. Just kind of a random funny bed with funny stuff and it's gonna be totally random. Okay, okay we're ready. ready. All right, let's Woo! go. Michaela's moment. Yeah. Live from their backyard. <laughs> go, go, go. Here we go. Let's go to the red wing tape. So tell us, what about your family? What's it like, you know, having us as your family? Uh, I absolutely love my family. My sister is the best sister in the whole wide world. Aww. Do you have any idea what you want to do after high school? I uh, probably want to get into something in the medical field and to be able to help people every day. I think that'd be a lot of fun. This is in the shade Flirtatious. I have it on my lips right now and it's only like a dollar. And I highly recommend it. People that look at me the way that I am don't expect someone like me to be interested in makeup and fashion. I don't do do makeup because I feel that I have to. It's just something that 
I enjoy doing. I think in today's society, people often, not so like judgmental, but we all have this picture perfect society of the way that we look and or what it means to look the best or, you know, but none of that matters because we all look different. You know, it amazes me because I've never been a person to really wear makeup at all. And so to see her find such a passion and interest in it, it's great. I think it's important the world should see a new face in beauty that they haven't seen before. It makes me happy to see that they're using more models who use wheelchairs, but they don't often have a visible physical disabilities. Um, and so, it, you know, it would be great to see um, the media and um, society look at all the different women who have, who are beautiful. And I think Michaela emulates that. She's a very beautiful person on the inside and out. You should wear blue eyeshadow. I think it'd go with your face. And I'm wearing blue yeah. eyeshadow too. You have a huge collection. Okay. I think so. I can go. So hopefully. Okay. Yeah. This is my best friend, Devin. She's into makeup too. Ready, Devin? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go. Is your purse in the other room? Yeah, I still have to go get it. All right. Here's my purse. Oh, yeah, I still have to grab mine. <laughs> Devin and I love shopping at the mall. It's a big effort for all of us to go somewhere, but that doesn't stop us from doing the things we enjoy. Luckily, we won a specially equipped van in a competition. There we go. I'm always bugging my mom to drive us around in it. Slurpee. <laughs> yeah, what? It's great when you have a best friend that's like interested in the same stuff as you because you have like something to connect about and we just love shopping like every girl does. I like these nail polishes. We go to school together, we've known each other for a few years now. We love hanging out, whether it be here at the mall or just having sleepovers. I mean, we always have a good time together, and we're just best friends, and we love being together. Right. Yeah, what? Definitely, what do you think about this hat? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Buying clothes is very difficult. Um, not many teenagers are my size. It is so very rare. The person that is in my size is probably six or seven years old. What they wear and what a 15 year old wears is very, very different. So I would never want to wear something that a six year old would wear because that like portrays like my personality, I think. And that's not like who I am. Okay, mom, what's something I obsess over? Makeup. Yeah! He has drawers, ding, 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 drawers, ding. and drawers, and more drawers of makeup. Ding, 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 ding! Did I get that one right? Yeah! Okay, I passed. Woo! There's always new things to try, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And the packaging is just so freaking cute. That's why she's okay. fun size style. My mom is an amazing mom because most people, like, when she wanted to have kids, most people told her that it would not be possible and that it just wouldn't happen and it's not a good idea. But she didn't take that for an answer. 
they were very, very concerned that the babies would grow up into my heart and lung area and none of us would survive the pregnancy. And so it was felt by some that we should have considered aborting one or both of them. And Ken and I just didn't even need to take much time to think about it because uh, we totally decided we were going to do whatever we could to bring both of them into the world. Hi, almost time. Almost time. We're getting excited. <laughs> You know, I remember the night before they were born thinking, we're about to do something nobody is recorded to ever have done before. And, and it hit me really the night before. And that's when, you know, I was thinking, you know, just because nobody ever did, didn't mean somebody couldn't. I mean, there's always a first for everything. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> when my mom, was 17 weeks pregnant, she found out that we were going to have a disability. I just looked at the doctor and I said, well, that doesn't mean they're not going to drive a car, go to college, and have a happy life. And we're, we're going to do, you know, whatever we can to support them in having a happy life and a positive attitude. I look at my life and I've had a great life and I wouldn't trade it with anyone. Um, I know of perfectly able-bodied people who have had unhappy lives. And so um, I thought, well, if our child could have a, a happy life like I had um, and a good attitude, they can overcome, you know, any disability that they might have. You know, in society, we want to have perfect. And there isn't any perfect in life. Some people's Challenges are more visible than others, but everyone has a challenge in life. We get up in the morning and we decide if we're gonna have a good attitude or a bad attitude. If they choose to have a good attitude about their life, they will have a good life. help me do those things like we don't have like a nurse or anything like we're fully capable to do it ourselves and I don't have like any major medical daily care that I need so it's really not difficult for us. My bones are very fragile and over the years I've had like a lot of surgeries and when you start working on those things you know Maybe you'll need a surgery and then you have to wait another three months before you can like be like physically active. So it just gets very challenging at times to be able to do those things on my own. And I can't really do anything fast because of like my brittle bones and stuff. And mobility, you just don't do things that fast. They've had surgeries to have metal rods put in the long bones in their arms and legs to help straighten and strengthen them. And so that's had to be redone several times. Um, you know, we've had our medical challenges. The one thing about the disability that we have, though, is it's expected as we grow older, um, it improves over time. And so we're hoping that as the kids enter puberty, that their, their fractures will, we're hoping, can virtually become non-existent. I haven't fractured a major bone in probably 30 years, where my parents quit counting fractures at 200 when I was a child. Everyone has downtimes, like, having a surgery isn't fun. I mean, it's not. Like, you can try to make it the best that it can be, but as an overall experience, it's not, you know, like, Woohoo! But you know, you get through it, and better things will be ahead. Or hospital visits once in a while, just a bump in the road. But we all have those times, and we get through them, and then better things are ahead. Austin has a 
surgery coming up and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so basically in our bones we have metal rods which are kind of like the size of a big long needle I guess you could say and it keeps our bones straight and strong and protects it from uh, getting broken and uh, so basically they start to like, come out as you grow and mine is like pretty much sticking out of the skin a little bit so I'm gonna be getting that repaired but yeah it's we've had a lot of surgeries like that and it kind of gets frustrating at times but it's just a part of our life I guess. When my dad's not home um, I get in bed we have this thing called a Hoyer lift and I guess it has like a sling type thing but see the problem is when they're ma manufacturally made, they come with a big giant like sling thing and I am not the size of an average adult. So my mom actually custom made with her like sewing and quilting skills, she designed a custom like sling thing and I'm able to like hoist myself up into that and then I kind of, it's kind of funny, but I like kind of swing into bed and then it like comes down and then I'm able to be like into bed. I thought that I would be a tougher mom, that I would really make them do a lot more than I do do, probably spoil them a little bit in not making them pick up or clean their room as much or whatever. I think it's just a mom thing, really. We, okay. Go for it. Ah, perfect landing. Up, remember? No, Here, but... so roll that way. I'm gonna tuck it under you. Okay. okay, now come back this way. Okay, come back this way. Well, there you go. <laughs> you got your remote? I'll just block me so that I don't tumble out of bed. No. Okay, good job. Right. <laughs> I have to use a breathing machine every night. It helps to keep my airways open. Yeah, yeah so watch out there. Okay. We can make it work, don't we? Yep. At the end of the day, I might be tired, and I, but I think I don't think of, oh, what an awful day because I had to do all this. I, had, I would think to myself, wow, we really overcame a lot of obstacles and hurdles, um, but we met all our goals for the day, and that makes us all feel pretty good. My dad was really tough on me. And him and my mom would go to odds. My mom would want to be the helper and hand me things. And uh, one day, for example, I was, they used to have me in a little swing. And my head would flip back as an infant, you know, fall back. And my mom would come up and she would help lift my head. And one day my dad told her, don't, don't do that anymore. She needs to learn how to lift her head on her own. Well, it tore my mom apart, but she stepped back and sure enough, I brought my head up. It took me a while to, you know, wiggle my way back up, but I did it. And I thought I would be more tough with the kids like that. I don't know if it's because I have a why that I know their struggle that maybe I want to help them a little more. But then there's times when we really, you know, count on them to make their own way. When they have challenges at school or they'll have a challenge with a teacher, we look for them to resolve their own problems.
we go to church and we go to church with a great group of people. Everyone there is just so nice and we're pretty like known. I mean, we kind of stick out. We don't really blend in. They don't treat us any different. I mean, they, we've lived here for so long that people just know us. spending time together. I suppose it's because we understand what it's like for each other by many of us in the family having the same disability. Yeah, maybe I'll just hang out here. What, my favorite thing to order is grilled cheese. And what about you, Dad? What's your favorite thing? They have mom's the best hamburgers. What about you, Mom? What's your favorite thing to order? My favorite thing to order is almost everything on their menu. So yeah, we've been coming here for a long time, and we just really like the people here. We love the people. Yeah, we love them. We're like family. We've known them forever. Of course, there's that group of people that find us just a bit too interesting, but you get those people anywhere you go and something that we're used to, and it really doesn't affect us much. Uh, looking ahead for the next few years, I would like to move to Los Angeles, California, and attend college at Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising um, and get my bachelor's degree. And so I hope to do that one day. I love the city and I think it would be like great to live on my own and just be a great experience and experience a new place. I love to travel, which is another reason why I'm so interested. And I've been researching a lot into colleges and that's the one that I really have my heart set on. Even though I might think it'll be difficult, I know I'll find a way. It might not be the way other people do things, but you know, for me, I always have to do things differently. So it's really not that strange to me to find a different way to do things because if I do want to be there enough, I'll find a way to be there. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, I love you. And I hope you have a great day or night. Bye.